Hello and welcome to your eighth WX Python tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to add a little bit more flavor um, to your windows. And in this tutorial, we're going to be most specifically talking about how to give buttons uh, a bitmap image. Um, this way, it just looks more appealing, maybe. Although I will just add that my buttons aren't exactly the most appealing buttons ever, but regardless, that's what we're going to do. So before this video, I made a quick sad face PNG image, um, which we're going to use for the exit. So when the user goes to file and exit, uh, like right now, we run this program. And the window here, you know, we got awesome text. This is cool, but, you know, the user's like, uh, I got other stuff to do. File and then exit. It's just so easy. They just hit exit and they're done. So what we want to add is a little something, something there to maybe um, convince them, to, hey, why don't you just stay a little bit longer? So uh, let's hop into it. The first thing I want to do is rearrange a few things again. Uh, most notably, let's bump this down because we're going to be changing this. And also, I would just like to change uh, this as well to do. If you're going to uh, edit the button in any way, it's usually easier to do it uh, this way. And so just follow with me. Edit item. Now we're going to change this to just be um, wx.menu item. So we're just giving it the uh, WX Python's mode of being a menu item already and then what we're going to do is define it a little bit and first you say where it's going to go and it's going to go under the file button then we give it its um, ID and in this case it's just going to be the ID exit so it's going to have the exit parameters that uh, WX Python presets and then finally it's got the um, you know whatever you want it to say so in this case it's going to say quit now um, the next thing you want to do is you'll want to give it its image. So in this case, you'll do exit item or whatever you've named yours, uh, set bitmap, and then in parentheses here, the only parameter is the location. So we're going to say WX bitmap, and then in parentheses, uh, you give the location of this. If it's in the same directory, then you just straight up put the file name. If it's not in the same directory, then you'll have to give, you know, the full path, C colon, slash, blah, 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 slash. Okay. Um, but in my case, it's in the directory. Generally, if you um, ship out anything or you install something on someone's computer, uh, it's going to be in the same directory anyway. But if not, give the full path. <clears throat> so next, um, now that we've done that, the only thing we need to do uh, is do file button, and we're going to append... Uh, this exit button or exit item to the button. So exit item or append item exit item and that should be it. Hopefully we haven't typoed or screwed anything else up. So let's save it and run it see what happens. And so here is our window and we go to file and now they got a, a sad face when they go to quit. Now um, something you'll notice with a lot of windows, like if we look here at this Python window, new window is control N, open is control O, and then obviously like exit is control Q. Now when we come to our window, um, you can't see me, but here I'll hit control Q. Nothing's happening. If you can hear, I'm getting like a, a Windows notification that whatever I'm trying to do isn't working. So control Q doesn't really work for me here, but what you can do to set uh, control Q to work is actually pretty nifty. You literally just type it in <laughs> like you do CTRL plus Q. And I did like a little tab before. So this backslash uh, T means tab. And then I said, I just strictly just said control Q. Nothing else. We'll run it. And I just suggest you run this alongside me so you can just instead, of, or you can just take my word for it. Um, and then now, when you go here and you look at the button, it says Control-Q there. But even if you're not even using it, and then you hit Control-Q, it'll close. And you might be thinking, 
Well, that's probably just because it like recognizes everything, and so if you just have any parameter there, maybe it does it. But you can change it. Like you can say Control P, which normally corresponds to print. But in our case, if we do this, we'll run it, and here's our window again, and it says Control P there. I'm gonna just again, you can do this yourself or take my word for it. Control Q is not doing anything. But if I do Control P, sure enough, it closes. Finally. You can also just not have a parameter in there at all for like how to close it. And instead you could be like, don't, and then backslash to escape the, uh, uh, the single quote there. So don't, and then don't do it like that, right? So we'll put that in there. We'll save that. We'll run it. And here's our window. And now when they go like this, it says, don't do it right by the quit. But if so, now if I do Control Q, still nothing. Control P, still nothing. So you can really put anything you want in there. But if you do say Control uh, P or Control Q or whatever, it'll also act like short keys. And like that's just kind of coded into WX Python. Again, one of those things that it takes a lot of coding for them to just you know be like, okay, if they happen to put Control in here. So anyway, really cool stuff. Okay, so anyway, that's it. We'll quit uh, the program there. And so that's the basics to adding little icons by like menu items. And now what we're going to be talking about briefly is a toolbar. And in case you haven't guessed it, you can also add little images for the toolbar. So stay tuned for the next video and toolbars. And as always, thank you for watching and subscribing.